Hello friends, welcome back to our channel UiPath Bots. In this video, we are going to learn about Notepad automation. In our previous videos, we have covered input and output methods, how to automate the Notepad and all, right? In this session, we are completely doing a practice, um, uh, what to say, practice session today. So, uh, before going to that, I would request you to please do subscribe our channel and for uh, more videos, please do not forget to click on the bell icon and select the all options. Also, please like the videos and share with your friends and colleagues. This will definitely encourage me to come up with new videos with new content and practice sessions. Okay, let's dive into this practice session. So, we are going to see Notepad automation today. Okay, so our work item today is to input data into a notepad, create a sequence that does the following notepad automation. So there are multiple steps involved in this. So let us see one by one. First, we are supposed to ask the user for the text to be typed into the notepad. Then ask the user for the title under which the file should be saved. Then open a notepad then type the user's text the text which we retrieve from the user in step one we are going to use that and type into the notepad here in step four next change the font style of the text to bold and change the size to 16. next navigate to save and save the file with the user's title the title we is going to be the title which we ask the user in step two okay next close the notepad so with this we can learn a lot to automate notepad now let us quickly open our studio have a, a sequence here let us use a sequence okay it's always uh, it, it is always the best practice to rename the activities whatever we are working with for our better understanding, better readability. Okay, notepad automation, right? Also, as I said in many of the videos, please use annotation whenever and wherever it is needed. Okay, so this is what we are going to do with this sequence. So now ask the user for text to be typed. First one is we are, we are supposed to ask the user. So asking a user in the sense we are supposed to get an input dialog. So just drag and drop this. Give a dialog title. So what we are expecting here? Notepad text, right? Notepad text. So ask the user how we will be asking. Okay, hi, please provide the text to be typed into notepad, right? And this is going to be a text box. So I'm keeping the input type default as text box. Now let us save the data, whatever the user provides into a variable. For that, control K, give a name to your variable, notepad text, that's it. Now let us go back to variables and check the scope, right, perfect. So this is the first step. Let us see the second step. Ask the user for the title under which the file should be saved. Now same, use one more input dialog activity. Uh, give rename to this, say for example, notepad text. Notepad text and for this one that is Notepad title, right? Give a title for this Notepad title. Ask the user, please provide the title to the to this Notepad. Okay, and copy that title, save that title to a variable. So, control K, str, notepad, title, right? We are done with this. So, let us test this first. Just save it 
and then test it. So it is asking, see, hey, hi, please provide the text to be typed into notepad. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm just typing some random. So next it is supposed to ask for the title. So give a title, notepad, automation. That's it. So we are done with first two steps. Now let's open the notepad. How to open a notepad? You are supposed to use open application. Open an application here. Open application and indicate a window on the screen. Since we have already one notepad open, I'm using that notepad to indicate this, right? So it will automatically open a notepad. Next, what to do after opening the notepad? Type the user text. So we are supposed to type something into the notepad for that what we should use we should use type into activity type into activity drag and drop into this open application because this particular activity should be work should work in the container notepad container let us rename this open application notepad okay next type into notepad Type into notepad text. Okay. So let us indicate the element inside the window. So it is supposed to type here, right? Right. So I have selected the body of the notepad. And what should be typed? We are supposed to provide pass the notepad text field here. So our expectation is to type this uh, data whatever present in this str underscore notepad text into the body of the notepad. Let us test this. Okay. Just save this and test this. Run the file. So first it is asking for what to be typed here. Hi, how are you? Then give a title. Say for example, notepad automation. Okay, now it is supposed to open a notepad and it, it has typed. So perfect. Now, what is our next step? The next step is type fourth, also completed. Fifth one changes the font style to bold and its size to 16. Now, let us open our notepad. Okay. What is our notepad here? It has, hi, how are you? Okay. Now, uh, let me minimize this. Excuse me. Yes. Super. How to edit this? We are supposed to go to format, font, then they asked us to keep it in bold and 16, right? Under this. Now let us use one by one. First, we are supposed to go to this format, then font, right? Let us use the same here. Let us use a click activity. Indicate the element inside window. Let me see. Drag this. Format. Done. Now, after this, we are select to, we, we are supposed to click on the font, right? So, let us use this to Let me pause this for a while so that I have next. Yes, font. Okay. This being selected. Let us go back. Okay, format and font being selected. Next, 
what is our next step we are supposed to when you click on this font we'll get this right we are supposed to use bold here so click here and bold okay then use 16 here right so we are supposed to give we are supposed to select bold and 16 okay in this particular window now before that we are supposed to attach to this window right so let us go back and since we are under uh, notepad i think it is not required to attach let us test let us test we are supposed to use type into so let us rename these activities click format click font type into what I am going to type bold right so I am going to indicate don't save let us run this what I am going to indicate here I am going to indicate let me open the formatted font i want this one font style click on indicate element click here so i'm supposed to pass bold okay so just save it have one more type into indicate size so the requirement is to be in 16 so just save this and then we are supposed to click on ok right so indicate okay now just rename the activities it is always advisable to rename for better readability okay click ok type into size okay done now uh, let me go back and close this this is our initial uh, notepad but this will automatically create one more notepad let us open this run this super first it will ask for hello techies how are you done next it will ask for the title done so it will open and then just type it font super bold 16 superb it has changed now see it has performed well as expected now what are what is the next step which we are supposed to do we are supposed to sixth one navigates to save as to save the file with the user's title so we are supposed to navigate to the save button file under file save as then give your name okay let us use click activity to find You are supposed to find this file, right? Indicate file. Okay. Next, one more click. This is for file. Let me rename this to file. Next, one more click. Under 
file we are supposed to uh, save as control shift s instead of using this we can directly use this control plus shift plus s uh, shortcut key also but let us learn this one save as okay so now we have clicked on save as so this particular comes then what we are supposed to do let me rename this activity as save as okay now we are supposed to type into the name here what we are supposed to pass we have str notepad title right along with this we are supposed to pass dot txt that's it so this is our activity let me rename this activity also type notepad title okay so it's been saved we are supposed to click on save right so use click option click then go for save that's it perfect now save this let us close this notepad and then run this okay run this run file so it is asking it will ask for uh, the text to be typed into let me say hello ui bot subscribers click on ok next i'll give some title say ui bot now it has to open yes it has given now font go to bold and 16 then save as it is saved that's it perfect so we are done with the notepad automation it is very simple the only thing is we should understand the flow and according to the flow we are supposed to use the activities okay along with that we learned that we are supposed to rename each and every activity as a best practice for readability and also we are supposed to provide the annotations whenever it is needed so let us meet with some other videos with a um, few more practice sessions so thank you so much for your valuable support and please keep learning and happy automation bye bye